I get to jump in the tank and support my boy right here. You see that? Nice shot. Yeah, uh, I think he still died. But hey, whatever. I'm in the tank. What's good, everybody? Bank626 here again with another Gundam Battle Operations 2. And today, I am rolling with the high sack. I'm actually really happy to get the high set because um, it's one of the, I guess, lower cost units that I actually wanted to get. And um, luckily me, I got it in that free pull, that one free pull during the GBO days, like when it first starts off. So I was lucky to get that. And also, I'm happy why I wanted the high set because I have a lot of content ideas I want to do with it, especially like with uh, Gundam Sea Destiny, if any of you guys have watched it. Uh, not a bad series, not a bad Gundam, well, good, bad Gundam series, but it's. If you like drama, go for, go, go for Gundam Seed. It's good for that. But yeah, I want to go with uh, Ray's um, Saku. No, sorry, Blaze Saku Phantom. It's a weird name to be honest. I, I just thought it was just. I never even knew what a Zaku was called until I looked it up. And it, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Blaze Zaku Phantom, I guess. But it's kind of funny that right here I'm going after um, <laughs> the red comment right now. So kind of find it funny that I'm in a Zaku or a High Zack and doing with a regular Zaku. So. Um, yeah, I kind of was just kind of figuring out the controls with it as well. I also have it in, because uh, when you first get the high zack, it comes with a beam saber. But um, lucky me, when I got it, I actually had the, the I guess, high zack heat hawk. I know, like, <laughs> why, like why, are you, why are you stuttering with that one? Um, yeah, because I'm so used to saying Zaku heat hawk. But I guess you don't really need to say the Zaku part of the high zack. Probably just say heat hawk, but whatever. But um, yeah, that's not a bad, interesting match. Uh, I was having fun with the high zack. I actually wanted it in its support, where I guess it comes with the. Well, I don't know what it's called for here, but I just know like you have the a beam launcher and like Gundam Sea Destiny, or that's what they call it here. I don't really remember now. I'm kind of slack on my knowledge, but um, one thing I like about the the high zack is its Zaku machine gun. Like that thing is great. Like he. One, you don't even have to like be on point with it because it, it automatically shoots for you. And right there, I, I end up. The reason why I jumped off that cliff because I knew the the support was coming after me. So I was like, hey, let me just get out of here. And right there, I kind of missed my swing right there because I was thinking about the beam saver. So I thought I was gonna catch him, but that was my fault. But I actually like the heat hawk more because it does obviously more damage, and it's just I don't know. I just like sloping guys with it. Like I just I just like just bring down that hammer right on you, and you just, you're automatically you're taking down. So you're, Especially with the beam saber, beam saber is good, but um, the heat hot's better, more fearing to opponents, right? But uh, but that Zaku machine gun is great, man. Like the stagger on that, especially when opponents don't think you're gonna stagger off those bullets, it, it staggers and it holds you there for a little bit. Plus, it does a lot of damage too, like you wouldn't think. And kind of stole the kill from that, but um, yeah, I don't know. That, I guess I got greedy there. Not gonna lie, I wasn't even thinking that. I was kind of just having fun with the machine gun, and just bop, 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 bop with it, you know. But um, yeah, you know, great match. I like basic. You guys already know I love my basic for those that are watching and for those that are new. Uh, like and subscribe. I do bring out as much da uh, daily GBO plays as much as possible. And uh, no, I'm not running for that guy. I was thinking about like, should I run for him? But I'm like, you know what? I can take him. Let me just go up there and see where he is. So see him in the corner. Uh, foolish me shot and kind of blew myself back, which is good for me because I think he thought I died because he wasn't. I don't know. I, from my point of view, it looked like he thought I was dead, but he did shoot me, and then I didn't know there was two of them, so I was like, oh crap, I'm kind of surrounded, and I got shot, like, twice, or three times, enough to get me at seven, and still surviving, so it was actually kind of funny here, I was reloading, I tried to knife him, that's why I kind of jumped over there, I tried to knife him, I thought it was nice, but uh, it kind of came out slow, so, um, but I didn't just try to figure out what to do, this guy didn't even notice me, with a nice dodge roll right there, I caught the knife on that, so, laughed about that, me and this guy are kind of just tussling, so, I don't know about you guys, I just kind of like having my, you know, air to airs and my just, just regular people fights sometimes than just being in our giant mech suits all the time, you know, it's nice to actually use the weapons that we have as just the pilot, you know, so I'm kind of happy about to use that, even though I have like a sidearm on my leg, I thought I was, I actually thought when I bought it you got to use it, but it's just for show and I kind of got that, it was just props. But uh, one thing I want to note too in this match is that um, be friendly, like me right here, like even though we're way ahead, help your fellow guy out, you know, you see somebody repairing, help him out repair, because with the repairing gun, it's kind of slow, yeah, it does, it's helpful, it's great, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say it's, you know, it's a good tool to have, I didn't even think you could repair this game until I did it one time when I was first playing, and I was like, whoa, you can repair, that's nice, it doesn't do much, but obviously if you go back to the base and you repair at the same time too, you obviously you recover a lot faster, but at the same time too, even if you recover, uh, what I realized with myself is even if you recover it, it's it's not as, it's not the same as you know 
getting launched out because you still have that impact damage on it so really you're just growing up numbers but really you're still your legs are still worn out because another shot comes in your legs are completely gone which by the way check in the corner right there you'll see my boy dragon healing me right guys see be friendly and they'd be friendly to you too so i know sometimes they're probably just like yeah thanks and they just drive off you know you're bleeding out here but hey it's okay you know just just be kind help you guys out because it's just a good thing to do for teamwork but anyways yeah but like i was saying like you're gonna get function C's regardless. If you do, if it does happen to you, recovery and base healing is not gonna heal you as much as you think it would. But anyways, that's just that. And for teamwork, do it, man. Like I've learned from Naruto and all my other animes, yo. Like, hey, teamwork is key, you know. Like, help him out, they help you out. And right here, right now, I'll tell you right now. See, like I could have took the kill for it right now. See, I I could have just, you know, I threw a bomb just so he knows, like, hey, I'm, I'm still trying to get it. I, I did a fake tackle so he could just, you know. Come grab me and this guy can just juke him in the back. See? And he gets a kill. So, I paid him back for stealing his kill earlier. So, there we go. I, I do think about these things even though I'm greedy sometimes. I do think about other people. Because other people are trying to finish their stuff too, right? Like, they have their own clan missions or their regular missions regardless. But, um, yeah, my next move here was kind of... I, <laughs> I was running this way thinking I'm going to my base. I, was th I don't know why I thought I was on the other side. But I realized, oh, crap, I'm not on the other side. This is the enemies. Which kind of works out because I was like, oh, well, if they're busy over there trying to blow up my base... I'm going to blow up their base because I'm not letting them catch up. Because you let them catch up, especially at this time, they somehow, the the, the, the the points just blow up, and then you they need, like, one, two kills, and then game over, right? So, like, right here, when the, when the base got blown up, and then he's probably going to steal my mobile suit because that's foolish of me on my part. I should not I have looked around before I kind of ran over there real quick without checking this, you know, situation awareness on the area, but... It, it doesn't matter, but guess what though guys, I got a counter plan, I'm gonna call support on his ass, cause while he's over there still in my mobile suit, either he's gonna, you know, run off with it, but he's, he's way too far, I already know he's way too far to catch up, so, I was actually surprised he was still there, and I guess he caught his mobile suit, and was just kinda just battering up my mobile suit for whatever reason, you know, obviously to get points in on it, but still. You could have done a lot more by just stealing a mobile suit, coming over here, stealing a, a point, and then calling his. But hey, in the end, he didn't even get. I don't even think he got the points from me, and I still blew up my. Yeah, I blew up my mobile suit and his. So and the, and then it worked out, and I still get to be a pilot right now, waiting 13 seconds for my mobile suit to come. So in the meantime, I'm not gonna sit around by B point. I'm gonna go to C point, try to steal C, because one, there's only a minute left, and we already got this in the bag, and there's nothing really else for me to do. But the funny thing is, though, like, I'm over here thinking, like, okay, I'm just going to kill time, try to steal this, get an extra 50, and then I see the mobile suit drop. So, like, oh, the pilot, oh, there's the pilot, let me shoot a rocket at it. And I thought I had sick-ass aim where I was going to blow him out, steal his mobile suit. It wasn't going to, you know, obviously, I wouldn't get the point for it, but hey, whatever, you know. I get to jump in the tank and support my boy right here. You see that? Nice shot. Yeah, uh, I think he still died. But hey, whatever. I'm in the tank. I got to do like two shots on this guy. Here's the third. No, sorry. Here's the second shot. I got my other boy right here who kind of just took off on me, and I'm like, "Wait, where are you going?" And then I got a third shot. So I was like, "Yo, I'm actually taking this mobile suit," and <laughs> it's so funny because I'm like, "Wait, why are you hitting me?" And he hit the wall, bro, man. You hit the wall. Oh my gosh. I was like, "Yo, man, I'd be mad. I'd be like, yo, forget. It. I'm just gonna." use my shield missiles and blow your ass up but hey you know it's all for fun you know and i just thought it was really funny that uh, i hit the wall and he hit the wall so yeah that's my high zack uh or zaku or zaku blaze phantom weird ass name but high zack here guys um match and i just thought it was funny to bring out even though i didn't really do too much in here i just wanted to bring out just you know talking about teamwork talk about being a pilot talk about just the shenanigans of basic and whatever i love so if again you're new to the channel like subscribe and for the regulars like and subscribe of course as well and i'll see you guys soon with my next video of whichever mobile suit i bring out probably gonna be sticking with zeta gundams but you'll be seeing them soon take care guys